Dan Dell live and direct from Potter's Hopton on Sea. Well, the World Bowls is probably one of the biggest dates on the Potter's calendar. We've got the radio, all the all the media live at Potter's Hopton on Sea, and even the Daily EDP. So, Rebecca, have you got a lucky favourite charm? Yeah, I always carry my pendant. It has um. Really nice picture of Andy Thompson in it. Oh, that's quite great. Uh, another day in the office? Uh, just a little bit, a bit diverse, uh, doing bowls rather than football or yeah. cricket all the time. Yes, because you're currently, are you a Norwich supporter? No, I'm a Manchester City supporter. I actually work in Norwich. In the world of bowls, how do you feel that you're the actual wild card? Well, the wild card's given me a great chance into the competition and hopefully I can take my chance. So, Nikki, BBC Radio Norfolk, how are you finding the bowls? Really enjoy the bowls. I've been coming here for the last few years and really get our teeth stuck into the tournament. We're very lucky that we've got some local competitors in the bowls again this year. Yeah. Is, sorry, is Melvin King in it? Yeah, Melvin King's in it. Melvin, Melvin, sorry, I do apologise. Could I ask you, um, when you first approached the world of bowls, what, made you, what sort of inspired you into bowling? I was watching the TV one day and Andy Thompson was on there. No! Yeah. And do you follow bowls at all? Um, a little bit. Obviously when it comes to Potter's great and when it's during the uh, Commonwealth Games, uh, watch some of the Karan Green bowling, um, or should I say the rink bowling, should I say. Oh. Jack, how tall are you? Uh, about six foot two. That's ridiculous. And uh, just because it is a really big game for you, how do you keep yourself calm? Uh, just hopefully the crowd will be behind me and keep me going, really, to keep me calm. Mervyn King's in it, um, and also Rebecca Field, who's the defending champion in the Ladies' World match play. And we've got Jake Wilgress here, who's making his debut this year. And he's from the Norfolk Bowling Club in Norwich, so we're going to get right behind him this year. And fingers crossed he can come through his first round match. He's got a tough one against John Price, who's a very big name in the world of bowls. And that sort of gave you the, the well, I want to play that game, or did you just want to be closer to him? I... <laughs> <laughs> it's all leading questions. Sorry, <laughs> Rebecca or Jake, have you got a little talk going on there? Uh, well, they're both in different competitions, so it's a, I suppose it's a case of who goes furthest in their uh, tournament. Uh, in the world of bowls, who do you who do you like? Alex Marshall, Paul Foster, or Andy Thompson, or Andy Thompson's great player to look up to. He's had a hell of a career, really, and. Uh, if I can do half as much as he has in my career, I'd be very grateful. And do you play at all? I don't. I, I sort of have one game each year against the defending champion for, for sort of media purposes. And every year I say to myself, I need to learn how to play bowls properly. But I've never quite made it. <laughs> Ten pin bowling is the nearest. <laughs> well, Nikki, I can only say you can play with my <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. And this is Dan Dell signing off. Thank you, uh, Donovan. Thank you. Ciao. ITV. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks very Thank much. you. Thank you.